Hi, I'm Rolf from Tesla Owners US, and we have here... This is Ovi from TMT Tesla in Germany. And we want to bring you some important information what you need to know about the Model 3. So stay tuned and we'll see you soon. Stay tuned. Hi, this is Rolf again here and we have to give you one important information. Not if you probably live in Arizona where it's warm, but in those areas uh, where there is snow, ice and salt. salt. Salt is the problem. Salt is the problem because it's corrosion. And why is corrosion? I never expected that. Put my phone here, there's a magnet on my phone. Put it here, okay, no magnet. Put it here, no magnet. Put it here, no magnet. That car must be aluminium, like all of the other Teslas. No, it's not. Accidentally, my wife, I let her drive yesterday. She closed the trunk here and she said, that feels like every other car, any other car. So we're testing something like that. And what's that? The steel. Steel. The magnet sticks to that. The magnet sticks to here. Steel. The magnet sticks to, no, this is past here. Right? The magnet sticks to the front here as well. So there's steel around the car. The main structure of the body is steel and only some of the parts are aluminium. Maybe it was because of saving cost. We're guessing that it's going to be a saving cost for that. Because steel is much cheaper than that, than uh, aluminium and to work with aluminium. And that's why they said we had to get experience of working steel with the car. And I said, oh, wait a second, what should be steel? Some screws, some, some other pieces of that. And what we also found was very interesting is that when we looked in the car in the front and the, in the back, there is no sealant in there. You need to have later at the second work put sealant in the car, some wax, some uh, uh, a special sealant in order to avoid corrosion. Like oil. Something like that, wax yeah. oil, you have to spray it inside to get a void about rust. That's important information, that's what we're going to give you when you go back later. We also went there into the back of the trunk on the right side. I couldn't see any uh, foam, wax or oil in the car which prevent you from corrosion. So wait for the next takes, we check something else out. Yes, there may some questions occurred about turn radius of the car and actually when I'm driving it, it felt a little bit long or white. So we're going to measure that turn radius. Put a piece of tape here and then we turn. Okay, just turn around. <laughs> it's very easy. What we measured was 37 feet, over 37 feet, 37.2 feet. And that's a quite a bit of a turn radius for such a small ca car. And we were thinking that the same way when we were steering with the car and turn around, that was quite a large turn radius. That's what you have to consider. Okay guys, what you also wanted to know 
what can I fit in a trunk? And that's why we want to measure that. So first one, all the way, we had another video where we measured when the seats were folded over. Now we are measuring when the seats are there where they are. Going from here, all the way down, and it's gonna be 42 inches long. The width, not the full width, is the well from the wheel well, or the other opposite side of the wheel well, is 38 and a half, and the height is. Oh, about 20, a little bit more than 20. So that's what you need to consider if you fit something in the trunk. Okay, ready. And probably after that, there comes the next question. How about the front? So for that, we need to use the app and open the front first. What we're going to do wrong. And then you get the nice front here. And we're going to measure that as well. First, let's take it from the deepest point. On the deepest point is here 27 inch wide and the smallest point here is 17 inch and the height here is about 10 inch. Yeah, this might be, oh that's lesser here on the front. It's only about 8 inch on the front. So that's what you can foot, fit in a uh, front, probably for some shopping bags or something because you have shopping bags holders as well. Okay, Rolf, as a, as a new owner of the Model 3, there are some people want to know some special things which I've never come to ask you. Uh, so, will there be a tow hook for this car? Uh, yeah, a trailer hitch, probably trailer. from a third party not directly from uh, Tesla. The, we had the same thing with the Tesla Model S. It was a third party constructing a, a trailer hitch to the car. I installed it for myself actually, it wasn't that difficult. And uh, you just have to remove a couple of the, the rear bumper and remove a couple of bolts and put the a trailer hitch uh, assembly on. And then you can tow up to 3,000 pounds here in the US. Oh, that's a lot, yeah. Yeah, but I know that's not possible in Germany, yes. but in the US you can tow something. Like oh, yeah, we can't tow something in Germany. So, next question, roof rack. We know as from the Model S, if you have a sunroof, which you, which you can open this, the chance to put a roof rack on it. Yeah, when I touch on that right now, the possibility is not there right now. And it's probably also with the steel roof, well, <laughs> will, sorry, will not be there in the future and uh, I think uh, there will not be a roof rack coming for that unless there are some third parties who are doing something but they have to hook up in here. Yeah, it's maybe, they, that's maybe they, do, they, they uh, develop some clamps which go into the glass roof but you can't put a lot of weight on it then. Yes, it, then it would be very light. Yes, that's yeah. it. Okay. Uh, how, how is it when you wash the car? Did you ever wash the car in the, in the washing stander? Uh, no. No, it's okay. Hand washed, but it probably behaves the same way. Yeah, that's what I think yeah. too. So, what is the next question? Um, yeah, the satisfaction of the customers. As we know, these uh, screens have from some models, or some people put it in the internet who have a Model 3, uh, that there was phantom touches on it. Yeah, and uh, it's probably the screen is, is not 100% okay because it's a touch screen. There's a grid on that and, and, and if you put your finger on it, then the contact has been made and uh, there's like a touch on that one. It did not happen with my car yet, but if that happens, if there's anything, you're gonna call Tesla and they are probably even would send someone out to replace the screen. It's probably a, a connect to a, a couple of screws here and then it replace the screen even remotely. So, so if any problems will come, Tesla will definitely help you quick. Yeah. So they yeah. come out. Yeah, they come out to you. Or uh, if uh, the service center is close by, you drive by, probably we get a loaner. Uh, then drive a Model S as a loaner, could be. And then uh, you are 
having a new screen the next day. So that sounds very good for me. Is that what I expected for the first adopters of the Model 3? You will be helped if there will be a problem. All right. All right. Okay, so we are here back again to uh, get some some uh, yeah. How is it? Insights or some information? Insights some more information about see what the future will bring. Yeah. Uh, first about uh, Model 3. First, I have to say sorry of the guys with the standard battery package. That has been pushed backwards to the end of the year. So I really have. I also have a friend, and he was almost thinking to buy the long range. And then he said, ah, oh, I really don't need the long range for that, it's really too much. Uh, and then he still keeps the order open for the end of the year, as early as probably for the standard battery packs. Probably one of the reasons is that Tesla wants to get more revenue in, and he bring, they bring the all-wheel drive forward. People are hesitative. I have one friend, he, is, he had uh, an order in for the regular uh, Model 3 and uh, and he is a Tesla owner as well so now he said oh, I'm gonna wait for the all-wheel drive and probably many people are waiting for all-wheel drive yeah especially those people up in the north who have all this snow yeah and have big snow and a lot of snow I can really imagine why they wait for it so you think um, the next step on the Model 3 is the all-wheel drive the dual drive that's the right yeah. word I think and uh, then the next step is that what we think is the performance model yeah. on top of the dual drive. Because that is just pushing more energy to... Then you have to take the long range, right? And then you sell the long range again. Okay. Then you have the special fuse, like the, the performance fuse probably is coming in there, so that you can push more energy to the electric motors and get the most out of it. And I think this car comes then close to insane mode which is i'm guessing three and a half seconds something like that that would be amazing that would be great it would be great and then that's what we thought what our thoughts are then the standard package battery will come and you will get the car without the premium package which is right now not possible so without leather it will be cloth it will be no glass roof as you can see here it will be a steel roof and also, I think there will be another material in this car, maybe not a steering wheel out of vegan leather, maybe it will be a, I don't know, another product. And I'm not sure if the standard model will have the heated seats. Yeah, that could be possible as well. So the friend of mine, what I have here, he doesn't care in Arizona about heated seats. I mean, it's nice, but he doesn't care. And he's waiting, but uh, you probably and I was thinking also there are coming more options what you get you're not getting only the black interior and uh, the white uh, headliner you will get also a black headliner you might get a white interior probably with the performance package the white interior oh, cool. uh, that would be cool would be probably looking very cool I would be what I'm envision is the blue exterior color and the white interior wow. seats that would be looking good that will be car porn, what we say in Germany. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay, so that's another side of, of Tesla owners in US and TMT Tesla. Hello, this will conclude this uh, series of Model 3s. We will have more to show you, but was, most of the astonishing was is that we did not expect that, and yeah. I'm still buffed about that, is the steel in the car. So, and how can you make so much mileage on the car with so much steel in the car? It must be way more if this car would be complete out of aluminium. Yes, and uh, we tested that and we just, we removed the magnet on here and on some of the pieces, what we just moved it on some of the pieces where there was no steel. And then accidentally we said, we're gonna check it again. And we checked it again and what you find out, there is steel in the car and it's probably to drop the price uh, and that's most likely that you have to push the price down and with all aluminium and with the difficulty to produce aluminium even when Tesla has a lot of experience with that but there's still a price tag on that and steel is in the car as well so that what you that was astonishing us the most the most of all yeah. Okay, and then uh, you will see much more from us. We have a lot of projects going on 
about a guy who bought a lot of uh, te Teslas in a flooding in Texas, uh, what he makes up. A guy who is dealing with all the inside of Teslas in regards to battery, battery refurbishment and so on. Then we probably might make a drone video. We will have a new nose cone or uh, a new fascia update from the old nose cone to the new one. And that's all what we bring you. So stay tuned with our channel, subscribe, and thank you very much press, for viewing. Press the bell. And when you press the bell, you get a notification that the new video is coming on. And you will see it first. So press the bell to be a subscriber. Subscribers and be notified. And we appreciate all of your viewing. See you in the next time. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you.